We'll get ready for a new look at Danville Public Schools. Once the next school year begins, come August, students will be required to wear a uniform style of dress. Now, surprisingly, it's a welcome change for both parents and even some students. News Channel at 9's Kim Shine spoke with the district superintendent today and shows us what's next for the school. After the school board approved a new dress code for students Wednesday, District 118 officials are saying students will still have options. They're not uniforms, it's a uniform standard dress. The decision came sooner than many expected, but Danville Superintendent Mark Denman says it now gives parents time to adjust financially. And by having choice, like it isn't ex an exact pair of pants or it's not an exact top or shirt, but there will be choices in there, so uh, these are items that are many of them worn now. In the dress code section of District 118's Ownership and Education Handbook, it asks for support in maintaining a positive learning environment. And many support this decision, including students, but one woman says it's less about education and more about costs. It's cheaper. I mean, you know, you're paying all these hundreds and some dollars for tennis shoes and all this money you're paying for clothes, you know, when you buy a uniform, you know, you buy enough for the seven days and you're fine for the rest of the year, you know. Burton says her nine-year-old grandson doesn't care about the uniforms, but adds that when it comes to success, it's all about a student's focus. But I don't think it has anything to do with clothes, you know, whether you're going to get educated or not. It's, it's your, your frame of mind. Danville High School senior Autumn Kirkland agrees. I think it's a good idea, and so since they're going to have different options, Maybe that'll give the kids who are more stylish and others to try to put things together to make them stand out more. Well, that was Kim Shine reporting for us. You know, besides the approval, nothing has been set in stone for the new dress code. As an example, Denman says that instead of T-shirts, students would wear shirts with a collar and they could have multiple colors to choose from. Now, Denham also says that that area stores and churches are actually willing to work with the district to provide reasonable pricing options for parents.